Hello you, welcome to the tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use your JBC GCMG130. It's an old camcorder. Uh, it's a digital one, but you can live stream with this and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set that up. All right, so let's get started. So your camera should have came with a cable like this. This is what you're gonna need. This is the audio video cable that came with your camera right here and you're gonna need a way to power it. So it should have a power cord that came with it as well. So there's the power cord. Or optionally, you can use the battery that came with it. Although I don't suggest the battery because it runs out, uh, then your video is gonna cut out. So you don't wanna, probably don't wanna use the battery if you're gonna be streaming. So, but I'll demonstrate it just to, to demonstrate. How would it go? Well, if you connect the battery, it's very simple. It just goes in there like that. And then you turn the camera on. Oh, it's, and it's not charged, but that's how you would turn it on. Okay, so how do you set? What else do you need in order to stream? All right, so you're going to need a video card. You need a, some type of way for you to transmit the analog signal from your camera to the computer. So what I have here... This is the Pinnacle Studio USB video card. This is an old one. Now, as you can see, it's got the connection for USB right here. That's USB out. All right, but any capture card will work. Any card that lets you put in audio vid video signal via the cord will work. So don't, don't be fooled just because I have this one. It doesn't have to be this particular one. You just need one that is going to connect. All right, so how do you connect it all? Let's get into it. Let's first connect the power. Power is going to go in the camera right in there. Okay, so that's your power. Okay. And then next, you want your cord your audio video cord, which is this one. Make sure it's very specific. It's got to be this one, okay? And this one is going to connect right in your camera like this. All right, so that's exactly, that's what it looks like. That's what it should look like when you're ready to connect it. And then you're going to take your video card. You see the audio video ports right here that are going to go in. You're going to connect the yellow, which is your video, right in there. Then you're gonna go with your white, which is your left, and then your right audio, so left and right audio signal from the camera, from the camera into the video card. Now want, this is exactly what it should look like when you're ready to go. And then this part, the USB part, this is gonna connect directly to your PC via the USB. All right, so there's really not much else that you need to do from that point other than you're gonna make sure that your uh, your lens cover is down. And uh, the cool thing about these camcorders is that you have to flip screen, right? So you can actually view yourself while you're streaming, right? You see that? So it makes it awesome. Into the PC, let me show you how to get that started. All right, so let's go to that right now. Okay, so now that you have all your wires connected to the JBC camera, everything is set up and ready to go. You got you, you either got a battery or you got the power going into it. Either way, it'll work. And then you're gonna turn it on. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna turn it on. You can't see it right now, but I'm turning it on. And now we're gonna show you how to set it up. Now this is gonna work. This is gonna work with OBS. It's gonna work with Zoom. It's gonna work power director. It's basically any program um, that can detect audio video from a camera, it's, it's gonna show up. So um, obviously this one's gonna be a little bit better quality than the, the little Sony one that I just showed you. So uh, let me show you what it looks like right now. I'm gonna set it up. So what you wanna do here under sources, you're just gonna go to the plus sign. And under sources, you wanna go to video capture device, right? And 
let's just call this uh, JVC, right? And you're gonna hit OK, and you're gonna get another window. And now in this window, we're gonna go and see the Pinnacle Studio USB device. But it, it'll be any any video capture card that you use will work. Uh, so don't you don't have to have the Pinnacle Studio one. Any USB uh, video audio video capture card will work. All right, so let's see. So there I am, kind of in an inception mode. Looks really strange. Uh, let's hit OK. Let's, uh, let's bring it in. Um, so very easy. And with this one, let me make myself smaller here on the, the tutorial camera that I have and then make this one a little bigger. All right, with this one, you don't really have to worry about your um, your text or anything like that. It's, it's pretty much gone. Um, it's nice because it's got the flip screen so you can see yourself on there. Um, you know, you could bring up, see like it's got all that text, uh, but you could you could change a few things if you wanted to. You can brighten it up if you wanted to. That's night mode. That's uh, just regular mode. Um, that's also night mode right there. So if you need it a little bit more, you can turn on the light. It's got a little light. I don't know if it makes a big difference. You can see it shining on my hand. I don't know if it makes a big difference, but uh, uh, you can mess around if you wanted to with these modes, but I, I really, you know, I really don't, don't want to mess with it too much. Uh, but you, you, you get the idea, you know. So it gives you different like quality videos depending on what you want. Uh, but it's video, so I would just leave it off. You know, you're not taking any pictures. We'll put it on. Uh, we'll take that off of there. So that's it, guys. Uh, you can even also you can even go in here. And do some adjusting, focusing. Uh, we can mess with the white balance. Let's see. Let's just mess with the white balance here. Just, just for, uh, for giggles. This halogen. Uh, let's just, just leave it on auto. So, anyways, you can do, you know, kind of those functions, but we mainly want it for, um, for streaming, right? So there it is. I just wanted to show you that. Um, I can even shut off the light. The light's not really helping too much. Um, so yeah, it's a bit dark. Um, obviously, uh, the quality is a little bit better than the Sony camera, but I wanted to show you that it could be done. Um, it can work with any program that detects the, um, a video, audio video camera. So there you go. There it is. It's in full. It's in full action mode. <laughs> um, looks kind of weird because I'm, I'm doing the, the the tutorial and then I'm doing uh, the camera as well. So. So there it is, guys. Um, let me know if you enjoy the, the video. Let me know if you like this. I uh, hope you understood everything I try to explain on here. Uh, JVC camera, it's a really nice camera, you know, and it's uh, it's got the audio video jack, so, you know, use it. You can stream with it. Um, it's not going to burn out. It's going to, uh, you can go as long as you want with it because it's uh, you can connect it to power. It's got the DC power in the back. Uh, it's got batteries too if you wanted to use the batteries but then those might run out uh, but it'll go for a long time and since you're not doing anything other than just getting the signal from it um, you can go on for quite a while if you're streaming games or whatever and whatnot uh, so if you're on a budget uh, these cameras go for like literally like 20 bucks on eBay and I mean uh, I mean it looks pretty decent you know what I mean so all right guys so that's it for the video uh, hope it's helpful to you uh, feel free to ask me any questions. I'll, I'll try to help you out. And um, yeah, uh, give me some comments down below. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you enjoy this. Check out my other tutorials. I show you how to live stream with some more high-end cameras like the Sony camera, the Canon camera, uh, just different ways of live streaming and capturing audio and video. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. I see you're still here. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, consider hitting that bell. All right, I'll see you in the next one.